So John and I have a background working here in Nevada. <clears throat> so about like when we were in college, I'd say, what was it, about 10, 12 years ago, we were working for the SBA and we were business counselors and we were out of the local community college here in, in Vegas. And being business counselors, that meant that you're giving advice to people who are in their 50s. They have flooring businesses and we're 19, 20, 22 years old and they're walking in here looking for, for some direction. <coughs> And everyone's wondering, like, what 19-year-old, what is a 19-year-old going to do me? for me? <laughs> you know, and, but, but, but we had somebody that believed in us and backed us up, you know, uh, Professor Kevin Rayford, right? That, he was really yeah. in our corner. And he had, a, he had a vision for it because back then, this was the recession. It was the height of the recession, right? It was 2009, yep. so right after the market crashed in 08. And what Rayford said is nobody needs to hear from other older people about what an older business owner needs to do like their retail operation everything's going to change it's called social media so you had a vision about social media about google maps about all these tools that us as 19 year olds just kind of took for granted it was like yeah it's there like google maps is there facebook is there instagram was there but we never saw the i mean like he knew that there was a potential in us teaching these older people that you need to get your business on google maps and it was interesting because every time i'd go to a restaurant or to a or to a barber or to any like local business that has an open door um i'd say hey you guys need to get on google maps and they're like no no nobody uses that who uses yeah. that and this this was back then when when everyone had blackberries so so <laughs> iphone wasn't really a That's thing right. right so like google maps was really new i was like yo i use google maps for everything they're like i never use google maps i just know where i'm going don't don't kids know where they need to go yeah. these days i have map quest <laughs> thanks <laughs> but, yeah. so, <laughs> now all the pieces of paper you're trying to make it through. Yeah. You're flipping through and driving. Uh, <laughs> a left. Make a left. Make a left. Oh, turn around. Luckily, I printed out the B instructions <laughs> in case I got lost on that turn. <laughs> you do this every time, Jeffrey. I told you to take the 15 left. Okay. So, but yeah, that that that's kind of what we were doing for, for years. We did that. And um, so uh, John and I, uh, under the tutelage of Kevin, and the people we were working with, we had a little location over there in West Las Vegas, right there next to the FBI building, the police station that he used to work at as a cadet or uh, as an explorer. Or cadet? Yeah, as a cadet. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then we ended up working together back then. And we were just kind of just things worked out and we were just helping businesses. So I remember I had like a guy who had um, a baseball card in sports trading business. And he came to me and said, I need a I need to get a fifty thousand dollar loan. And you guys are supposed to help me. I saw on your website you guys can help me get that. And I'm like, yes, we can. Uh, <laughs> give me about three weeks. I'll get back to you. And I'm like, let me talk to people who are smarter than me that can do that for you. No, but I learned, right? Uh, we learned how to do that. We jumped into that scenario unprepared and unexperienced, and then we built our way up to getting more under more knowledge, you know? So it wasn't something like we we had clarity and 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 Amanda who's his beautiful wife at that time was a you know 20 year old college kid you know so mm -hmm. so she's trying to give offer advice to these guys <laughs> that are a lot older and 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 you know so th th she was like well you can try posting on Instagram and and they're like what like I got my bakery I don't know people don't don't post food on Instagram exactly <laughs> that's literally what they'd say it's like no that's all they post <laughs> food is viral it's everything <laughs> but uh, what I'm what I'm what I'm drawing out here is that there was a lot of experience listening to people I put in a lot John and I and everyone in the staff we put a lot of hours into listening to people in their thought process and starting a business and over the last 10, 12, 15 years now that we've been at it. And that long, huh? It has. Crap, it has man, we're old. We are old. <laughs> we are definitely <laughs> old. AARP, we're looking for a sponsorship. So that being the case, what we're saying is that, <clears throat> you know, there's always through lines. Everything you do, there's always patterns. There's always the similarities, and y you'll find it. And for us, we found that for people who we deal with, um, there's th they, they know they want to do something. They know they want to do something. Clarity on what that is is never usually there. And so either they're sitting on a lot of money or they have a lot of time or they just had a kid or they just, you know, they want out of their job because they hate their boss or there's some uh, concoction of life ex uh, cir circumstances that brought them into our office and they're ready to, ba to, to, to make a business. So at that time, what I do is I spend more time listening than I did anything else. 
and most of my sessions, I'd, I'd schedule them out, you know, and our, our front desk lady, Kim, shout out to Kim if you're watching this. She'd, uh, she'd set up my appointments, and I, I don't know who I'm, I'm going in dry, so I don't know who I'm talking to. And then I had actually have an office space, and I felt s- smart and cool, <laughs> and I had my briefcase. You had a briefcase. What, what, was my, what was in my briefcase, John? I always wondered what was in his briefcase for years, and then one day I opened it up. Two McDonald's cheeseburgers. <laughs> no, McMuffins. <laughs> they were McMuffins. Ladies and gentlemen. So I had to set the record straight. But I'm just I'm saying it's it's a little bit it's a like it's a little bit of a parody of ourselves. We're, we're no, we don't take ourselves too seriously here, but there is a certain level of peg- pedigree where we're talking to you from, and there's a certain level of experience that we've seen that I'm listening to people who are on this channel, whether they leave a comment in the in the chat, whether in the FTGU.app, whether they, they reach out to me, we have calls, the same things are popping up. And usually it comes down to, hey, I want to build something and I, I really want to make uh, you know, a t-shirt line. Or I actually want to make products. They come to an end point and they don't know how they got there, but they know they want to do that thing. You know, and usually it's like, well, I, I know that I could sell uh, these bracelets and they'll go for really good, you know, because people... I people see it like everywhere. bracelets. People like bracelets, and there's a good price point on them. I could get. So usually it's pretty practical. I say go for it. Try it. Try out a bunch of different things. Totally fine. We're not about stopping you here because we hated that kind of advice when we were younger mm-hmm. or when we were starting up. You know. Mm-hmm. So we're not. We're not going to be the. The we we always. <laughs> I should say this. We always saw when older people were giving advice, we're like, that's some crusty advice. We'd always say that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'd always tell you. Like, for me, when I started my first business, they said, just go to school, kid. Yeah. Don't worry about entrepreneurship. It's not for you. Go get your degree. Work a job. And then you'll figure it out in your 40s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. They would tell us that, too. <laughs> but what I... But that... What? But, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Cody, you're the man. Dude. So... So just just so you guys understand, I'm, 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 what I'm doing here is I'm setting the scene, like getting you understanding that for whatever reason you're tuning in today, you have a, something that's moving you, that brought you here. 